Hello, I am Sneha. In this video, we will see about ventilators which you heard common during the COVID pandemic. Before ventilators, we will see what is respiration. Respiration is the sequence of events that is the exchange of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide between the atmosphere and the body cells. In the picture, you can see the cell collects the deoxygenated blood and reach out to the lungs to get oxygenated and that oxygenated blood will be distributed to the body. Uh, there are two important processes which is inhalation and exhalation of gases. So, inhalation which is the air comes in, the thoracic cavity and the lung cavity increases and the diaphragm is stretched. So, that process is known as inhalation. In exhalation, uh, the thoracic cavity and the lung volume decreases and the diaphragm will be relaxed which comes, to, comes back to the original position. So, what is ventilator? Ventilator which is uh, used in medicine it is a device uh, which mechanically move breathable air in and out of the lungs to provide the breathing facility for the patients who is not able to breathe sufficiently why would you need a ventilator so in many cases for the patients who is uh, having ARDS acute respiratory disease syndrome chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which includes emphysema and bronchitis Asthma which is caused by allergens, asphyxia, absence of oxygen and cardiac arrest, pneumonia, collapsed lung. Uh, collapsed lung where the air flows into the pleural spaces instead of in uh, flowing into the alveoli. Or coma or loss of consciousness, uh, we can say it is a deep sleep condition. Also types of ventilator. There are several uh, ways a person can receive this ventilator support. There is a face mark ventilators and mechanical ventilators and manual resuscitator bags where we need some manual uh, pumping of air into the person and tracheostomy ventilators uh, the hole is made into the trachea and the air tubes are inserted basic components of ventilator uh, blender blender which blends the air and the pressurized oxygen and we have valves and turbines we also have sensors and control unit where we can control the volumes and capacities according to the person needs and we have expiratory line and inspiratory line inspiratory line have a humidifier which humidifies the air and we also have white tube so this is the basic components and the do doctors will have some tests and trials and if a person is uh, ready to come off a mechanical ventilator they remove this uh, ventilator support gradually from the patient so it is, uh, this process is known as weaning process so we know that ventilators one can provide only the support for breathing it does not cure any diseases so it is it also have some risk like infection irritation vocal cord issues and pulmonary edema inflammations like lung injury delirium uh, that is PTSD the stress disorders so yes thank you